Hi guys, this is the Kenyan Entrepreneur and I just want to officially welcome you to the first episode of this video web series. The audio version of it is going to be available on our podcast platform, Gumzo Africa. And the moment we have that set up, I'm going to be able to share the links in the video descriptions of uh, this video and any other video that might have been recorded before we have the links ready. Anyway, even as you're tuning in, I hope that you're keeping safe. This COVID-19 thing has people working from home. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I just learned of a new word, a day bug. So these are the house helps that come and help you during the day and then leave in the evening. So I hope that uh, this time has given you enough time to either bond with them or have them work from their home so that you're also able to spend more time with yourself and whoever you live with, depending with what situation you're in. Anyway, that aside, today is the 1st of April 2020. So I hope that you did not fall for any pranks that were intended to you or for you. I don't know what the right um, word arrangement should be in that situation. Anyway, I hope that you didn't fall for any pranks. My first video today, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just want. <laughs> in this first video today, I just want to pass my congratulations to the official Safaricom CEO, Mr. Peter Ndegwa. He was appointed as the replacement of the lead, uh, Mr. Bob Colimo, I think. He was appointed last year, October. So I hope that uh, you are up to task and as an event organizer, you know, us guys, eh? us guys. <laughs> I see. I saw a couple of memes uh, making rounds, and people were saying that this is the hardest time for event organizers, which is very true. So, if you are an event organizer and you have been sort of faced out <laughs> because of this uh, COVID nineteen thing, I hope that this is an eye opener for you and I both to just sort of restructure our operations. Anyway, what I was saying was. Uh, what, what I was saying was, I hope that uh, the new CEO, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, has a heart for event organizers, the same way Mr. Bob Colimo did. So by event organizers in this case, I mean people who organize conferences like we do, people who organize charities. And when I say have a heart for those kind of people, what I'm actually getting at is just having the heart to sponsor these events and support these young entrepreneurs and even founders of uh, initiatives that help the society. Uh, big up to Safaricom for the Dr. Zetu campaign. Our team at the TSGA Foundation were, one, were among the beneficiaries of the first wave. The second wave is, uh, was supposed to come up, but now this COVID-19 thing happened, so we also don't know what the situation is gonna be after that or in regards to that i'm speaking a lot of broken english anyway so <laughs> what, what i'm saying is congratulations sir and i hope that you are able to take care of us the way bob did or even better uh, you have big shoes to fill anyway for the viewers on this channel i hope that we interact our focus at this starting point is uh, health number one because of the obvious reasons, COVID-19 and the coronavirus, this thing is really messing everyone, you know. Anyway, so our first focus is health. The other one is uh, entrepreneurship, as you can tell. Um, our platform is very inclined towards supporting entrepreneurs and just trying to find out what other entrepreneurs or what other founders are doing. So that gives us room to sit down and talk and just borrow ideas and share ideas at the same time. So that is the second thing. The third thing is education and uh, the way we handle the education aspect is through the hand washing campaign. The hand washing campaign is targeted to pupils in primary schools. So beyond just the hand washing campaign and the health element to it, the other thing that we're very keen on is just trying to find or trying to explore and understand what other options could be there. The e-learning aspect has proved to work. Uh, many parents 
on teachers are adapting to it right now, especially uh, because we are forced to, or they are forced to. And uh, the moment this thing goes away or a cure is found, education is the other area that we're going to be keen to look at. So I hope you're enjoying your staying at home. Get to bond with the people that matter to you. And remember to follow, like, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.